Hey guys, Tyrep here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing taste pointing on the right, we've got Sowen with Orc, going for the far seer first. No barracks, fast tech style. And on the left, we've got 120 with Undead. Got some ghouls coming in. The map is Echo Isles, and we're this one from uh, TP League. Again. So, uh, yes, I figured I'd do two casts back to back since the patch just came out. This one with both the other factions. I'm going to talk about some of those changes. Uh, most impactful Cold Tower, and Rubian Tower for Undead's slower attack rate, and uh, the Cold Slow effect doesn't last for as long on heroes anymore. Spike Carapace for Crypt Lords buffed. Necros, Skeletal Mastery cheaper, Frenzy costs down, that's about it. On the Orc side, Bladestorm DPS increased, Spirit Walkers a bit faster to train, that's pretty much it. Some slight reduction in some tech costs. Not a huge amount, nothing that I think will affect this matchup too much. Oh, Headhunters, oh well, no, not Headhunters. Yeah, I think Headhunter's got 25 more HP as well. Anyway, both players trying to contest this creep experience. It looks like it went pretty well for 120. Took quite a lot of damage. But got all the experience, I believe. A player's forces are under Is he going to try follow through on the expansion? He has already got halfway through his tech, so it doesn't look like it. Just uh, doing no barracks tech whatsoever. Straight into double B Siri and the Torrent Chieftain. Again, 1 2 0. Good on the last hits. Securing the experience. But I mean, really, just so in here to slow things down, divert attention away from his fast tech action. He's succeeding in that regard. He's got a, a graveyard coming up out the back. Attack. Another ziggurat. Ooh, first experience steal there on that knoll. Doesn't get that one though. And Scout Acolyte sees what's going down here. Double bestiary. So it's going to be Wind Riders. That's the big question. Maybe like a mass raider style. Okay, range weapon upgrade. So, guessing it's going to be wind riders. Forces are under attack. And there we go, one of them in production. Straight tech to tier three. Meanwhile, for one two zero. Interesting. Bit of creeping going down. A player's forces are under attack. And uh, training and sneer after this. So maybe looking just to go for three wind riders and switch over to raiders. No expansion war whatsoever. Ring of superiority as well as protection and claws. Oh, that's another change. Claws plus. Four have gone back to plus five, I think. <laughs> All in a bit of trouble. DK calls to secure the experience and the item. One go down. Looks like someone wants to complete the creep. Got two on the far here now, quite a lot of damage onto the DK. see on the Death Knight stats, he's got plus one stats from this and then five attack from this. Okay, gonna spend some nuke on the Windrider. Oh, but denied. Nicely done there by someone. 
You see that uh, one DZO, he didn't want to spend the Nova, he could have, but he wanted to save the mana. He doesn't get the experience because of that. He's still pumping the Windriders, he's got one Raider in the mix, but back on the Windriders. Two damage upgrades on them. A Tier 3 popping now for 120, stops by the shop, gonna pick up the orb I imagine. Mobilizing his ghouls. Don't have frenzy yet, but there it goes. And uh, gonna do some creeping, it looks like. Mixing in some gargs now as well. That's the one so far. Hasn't transferred the orb over I'll to the lich. Maybe he wants to keep the orb on the DK so he can attack the Windriders. Go a bit of a oh, creep jack in the center. Zero's gonna finish the camp. It's a solid Nova there. Doug in trouble fast, but one wooden rider down as well. Raider getting focused, one ghoul down. Here goes the Raider. Pretty good fight at the moment for 1 to 0, it seems, and that Alchemist picked up third in the center. Got an acid bomb on these air units, and that turns it in 1 to 0's favor massively. Good fight for him. Did not have the impact he'd hoped. Good tactic, having that all of corruption on the uh, DK. Made it a lot easier for the heroes to deal with the air. He has invested a lot into the air with all those ranged damage upgrades. Of course, he can't switch over to headhunters. He doesn't have a barracks. So he's kind of stuck with these, and he's going to keep producing them. Good volley of shots there onto the destroyer. Big Nova, though. Gotta be careful, gets called back up, but DK doesn't have much mana anymore. He does have the mana potion though. Ooh, with the frenzy trying to get in range for a surround perhaps. Okay, just flying around. So when maybe waiting for the next raider to come out before he really gets aggressive. On T0 though, he's not hanging about, even though he is. Seven-ish food behind. Forces are under attack. He's staying on the offensive. Okay, he's going to morph another destroyer. Doesn't have any uh, statue regen now, though. That could be an issue. Absorbs up those wolves. Just boxing someone out. No creep for you. So I'm going to go into the central camp, of course, Echo Isles 2.2, the third gold mine. A player's forces are under attack. No, he's going to do a run by, go to the undead base. Somehow 120 though has a read on this. Rotates early on. When riders do take out quite a lot of food. Or when you left two of them behind there. A town is under siege. All right, well, they're just running around the map, not doing anything right now. One's bumped up to 60 food. Put down another burrow, can perhaps look to go to 70. One to zero, still banking at 50. I'm gonna try to go for this big camp down the bottom, and one to zero is just gonna go for an easier camp. These forces are under attack. Stormin, pretty good. This is one bonus armor, it's 1.5, right? A 
player's forces are under attack. More and more creeping. Okay, now one two zero is putting down more food potentially, going for upgrades. A bit slow maybe getting this ziggurat down. But no upgrades yet though. We might have quite a lot of experience coming in for these orc heroes. Getting these big turtle camps. It still has these two camps left. Well, this one is partially crept. It's so maybe a slight experience lead on the orc side. They have not, not that impactful. Maybe the more impactful thing is 1 2 0 with uh, the time he spent banking. We have the fortified armor on the burrow, so they're not particularly vulnerable to an undead attack here. It's a lot of wind riders. It's one of those things where with these mass air fights, they often everything dies so fast, especially when there's a high level Nova around. Could be a very fast fight. Cashing in some items there. The Lich is pretty stacked up. Got the pendant of energy. All of these items. 800 health. That's the last. Well, there's a couple creeps here, but just about the last of the experience on the map. And, uh, yep, no. There is every single creep. And players' forces are under attack. Marketplace is gonna buy, doesn't look like it. Okay, are they finally gonna fight? Been staring at each other all game. Bats coming in. Actually, pretty good because there are no fiends at the moment for the web. Two or three bats could be really, really good for someone. Uh, you know, a couple gargs, a couple destroyers could get some good damage done. He's got two armor upgrades though, he's maybe somewhat prepared for the bats. And there they go. Those who spread the wind riders so they don't all get blasted by the Nova. They do a good job taking down the destroyers. The chemical Rage Acid Bomb is a strong combination. He's going down here. We keep getting a little bit low though. Good job focusing the statue. Looking pretty good for Soen right now. He's got a big food lead. And the onion here is pretty close to being out of mana. Gonna lose another statue there now, Soen. 20 food up, but he's at an awkward spot. 52 pop. An upkeep. Wonder if he's gonna try to kill off some peons. He does have quite a few. Could maybe kill okay, he's done something. Down to 48 now. Maybe he was producing a unit and he cancelled it. Well he started production again. <laughs> and he's put down a uh great hall. Building it the old fashioned way. Put some towers up here as well. Okay, we're going to double time while there's nothing going on. One, two, zero, repopulating. Looks like he's investing more heavily into the gargs now. Two arm upgrades still. Okay, we're going to 4x. They're really doing nothing here. Expansion nearly done. And 120 is coming across the map. He's stopping by the shop first. Still got the big mana potion on the DK. 
One invul on the lich as well. He's got a heal scroll on the DK now. He's morphing. Five food advantage. But oh boy, that's a lot of towers. Bad news for the gargs. Tough to siege. Good in snares, but coil saving the gark. But here we go. He's up and he's mining from the expansion 120, hanging around in his base for far too long. How is he going to put a siege on this? He's, he's just going to attack it, it looks like. That's tough though. There's so many towers. Might have better results at the main. Could maybe take out the shop. These two burrows are a little bit exposed. Not that he really needs those burrows for food too much. At the moment at least. So he goes going after the bestiary. So we're going to use this time to attack. check, see if there's an undead expansion down here. There's not. It's actually coming up in the north. So he's going to take out the production of Solon, and this is all his production. Remember, no barracks. He's going to restart the beast here at the expansion. And this is going to turn into a bit of a base race. Wolf does scout the uh, expansion. Town portal back from 120. Big stomp. Speed scrolling away. Raider just surviving that nuke. Oh, where's the bat? Oh, the gargs are right there, mate. Comes up for the cancel. There we go. Bats were a bit... I mean, the gargs were a bit more spread out. Once that bat landed, though. Quick kill on most of the gargs. Town portal out before any of the wind riders went down, I think. Looking really good for Sowen right now. Got all these resources flooding in. And he's reproduced both of those production buildings, but he's going to get interrupted on this burrow. He's got time though. 120, 1.4k left. Reproducing his shop. A player's forcing more guards under siege. Two X. Stupid base attack action here. Now someone's getting in on the front, going after the Black Citadel. Eons up here, loaded into the burrow. Axel is dead. Two acolytes trying to run away. This is just going to be a full-on base race, but quite a few just uh, raiders here. Should be quite strong against the building. Should give so on the edge. On top of that, he's got 15 food more, and he's still got another base. I don't really know what 120 was hoping to accomplish with this. Seems like the number of towers down at this expansion really caught him off guard. And he just hasn't had the answer. And so on, it's quite content to just bash away at the base. Go for the Annihilation Victory 120 with the Necropolis up here. That's the last of his gold, pretty much. Maybe he could sneak. Something down here as well. Looks like he's cashed in something or the town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Up to 360 gold now. Town portal out. A raider went down, so did one wind rider. What does what someone need to prove? Got level five on both of his heroes now. He's still producing. Let's to uh, get some more burrows. Is supply stuck? Well, just about. Can't produce anything extra yet. Shop done. Going to do some heals. A player's forces are under attack. And here we are. One to zero is going to try and attack the expansion. 
people. Powers are vicious though. Such a high attack rate on them. Action there. Two more destroyers. One more destroyer. Up here for repairs with all the peons, and now he's speed scrolling in. Last destroyer dead. And that's it. One to zero is quick. Oh well. Not as fun of a game as uh, yesterday's, but that's how it goes sometimes. Ooh, you know, it's a new patch, not too many replays around. Just went for one that looks like it could have been sold, but a lot of stalling in this one. It was looking pretty good for 120, like that first fight when he had the orb on the DK, when there were only like three ish wind riders. It seemed like it went pretty well from him, but after that point, didn't seem to be making the right decisions. And once that expansion was up, that was GG. Don't know what 120 was doing. So passive, just sitting around his base. Like, Happy wouldn't be uh, doing that too much. But oh well, GG, uh, yeah, there we go. New patch. Not a huge amount in it. But, you know, yeah, good, good, just tweaking things, keeping things a little bit fresher. It's nice to see. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.